Today, we're looking at a blue ink by Levenger, Blue Bahama. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, down below in the description, there's timestamps of all the parts of the video. And if you are in a hurry, you can skip around. But if you got the time, I'd appreciate you if you check out the entire video. You can also follow me over on Instagram. And if you're new here and like ink reviews, I would invite you to subscribe. In order to make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I then put the ink into this Pierre Cardin President with a medium nib, wrote with it for a day, and used it to take the notes for the video. I standardized my first writing sample by using Claire Fontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper on all of the tests that I do. I do use other papers, and some of those will show up later in the video. Now, let's look at the writing sample. I picked this ink up in bottle form because that's pretty much the only way you get Levenger inks. To keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at the Claire Fontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 had no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, some nice shading throughout, four seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, some very nice shading, and five seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show color variation, and we do get it in the writing. And Tomoe River, no bleeding, normal Tomoe River ghosting. The 1.1 had no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is a little lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, six seconds to dry. Medium is a little darker than the extra fine, not as dark as the stub, with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, eight seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show no color variation, and we didn't get any. And Rhodia, no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. The extra fine is a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo, sheen. I'm going to be bothered by that little sprig of paper. <laughs> no feather spread, halo, sheen. It does have some very nice shading going on. Four seconds to dry. Medium is a tad darker than the extra fine, not as dark as the stub with no feather spread, halo, sheen, and some nice shading again. Five seconds to dry. Scrubby for both show good color variation, and we do get it in the writing. I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down and immediately put it into water for 10 to 15 seconds. And what we see is this is immediately pushing up. It's not really bonding with the paper as fast as we've seen with some Levengers. Often we see a little line because they are faster drying inks. But it's a very light blue, probably more like a turquoise. I called it blue because it's blue bah Bahama. But if I was choosing a color, looking at it, I would go with a turquoise. The one on the right, I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And we do see a line forming on the bottom that it started to bond with that filter paper, but a lot of it is really pushing past. So there may be some hold on, but not a lot of resistance. Resistance tests are done to see how well this ink can be expected to perform on the page, and more importantly, how hard it might be to clean from your pen. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, it did fairly well. There is some blowout in a lowercase h, but that wouldn't stop me from using this in a note-taking situation. Water is reactivating and lifting, but not all of it. That line that stayed in the second chromatography is there and bonded with this paper. Now, water is all that I used getting this out of my pen. If you needed more, look at what Pen Flush is doing. It's really digging it out of the paper, showing a lot of the white of the paper coming through, so you shouldn't have to go any farther than that. The one-third bleach solution is completely removing it from the paper. I test viscosity or flow with a tilt test that I'll link the video on how I do that. Now, for the inks I've tested, I have found an average viscosity of 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Levenger's Blue Bahama has a viscosity of 1.73, making this a wetter ink. 
For the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. I find this by using my writing samples that were done on Clairefontaine, Tomoe River, and Rhodia paper. Levenger's Blue Bahama has an average dry time of 5 seconds, making this a very fast drying ink. Instead of finding inks that look like Levenger's Blue Bahama, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I went with a nice red. I went with Noodler's Antietam. The second writing sample is done on yellow rhodia, white lines, and limon paper. Here we're looking at the yellow rhodia to see what kind of tone change we're going to go through, not as a performance issue. And in the chromatography, when I said I saw this as a little bit more of a turquoise, a very much a turquoise with a yellow background. So what that means is this is a very translucent dye that's in this ink. It also means if you work in a professional environment that uses yellow paper, you're going to have green looking writing that's, if people care about it, that could be a problem, just to be aware of. White lines paper. We get a bunch of bleeding into, but not through the paper. That does lead to a lot of ghosting. I would not be able to use the back of this page, but that would be up to you. The 1.1 is no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is slightly lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, and two seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade, three seconds to dry. The scrubby for both do show a little bit of color variation left to right, although it's not showing up in the writing. And last up is Limon paper, which has not honestly done the best when it's come to fountain pens, but we've managed to find a bunch of inks that do pretty well. There is a bunch of bleed spots that is occurring. It's not the end of the world, but it would stop me from using the back of the page. It does lead to some show through, but it doesn't touch the page underneath. The 1.1 has a ton of feathering. It's a ridiculous amount of feathering to the point that it's leading to a lot of spread. It has no halo sheen and no shade. The extra fine is mm, a tad lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. I take back the feather. There's spots of feather. I see it on the E in the, I see it on the D in dog. So it's tiny, barely noticeable, but it is there. Medium is the same tone as the stub, ridiculous amount of feathering. It's led to it having a bunch of spread. It has no halo, no sheen, no shade, one second to dry. The scrubby for both are actually showing a little bit of color variation left to right. Although we're not getting it, we get feathering instead. That's all that I have for the writing sample. So what do I think of Levenger's Blue Bahama? You get a bunch of different tone variation depending on the pen you put it into. And the good news is shading is never hard to find with this ink. Now it's not tons, but it's just not hard to find. So what nib and pen are gonna give the best writing experience with this ink? A dry pen puts down a bit too pale a tone for me. And a very wet pen really makes it lose the personality that it has. You need to go with a medium flow, medium to broad pen to really be able to enjoy this ink at its best. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I'm gonna remind you if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.